Good morning. It is a miserable day here in London, but I am here to hopefully brighten it up uh, because episode two of Chrissy UK is being released today at 12 o'clock. So, um, those of you know me, I am an actress, writer, producer, and a mum, look nappies. Um, and I also wrote a book called Actorpreneur, and basically I'm a champion of creating your own work. Um, I've been acting nearly 20 years and I mean I started it in a different time I guess two decades ago when um, you know I am half Mauritian half English and I would be expected to play an Indian woman or an Arabic woman um, and have to learn the accents and I never really got any auditions in my own British accent um, because I don't look like what a British person looks like so um even though obviously that was annoying um I'd never have learned to write or produce my own work because of it and now I just have such an amazing um hold over my career and this is actually where Chrissy comes in so um Chrissy UK is an example of what you can make with like just a couple of people involved and no money most of all no money um not entirely sure where i came up with the concept i think maybe it's, it's she's a version of the way that maybe i cringe myself out sometimes <laughs> i'm a bit like mm. or people that i've seen um that can get a bit desperate in this industry and um, are just chopping and changing to do other things and i think it's quite relevant and i just kind of i've always really liked um you know that ali g style comedy and i love improvisation i hate learning lines so um chrissy is entirely improvised as you can probably tell uh with the ridiculous things that we come out with um and the first episode i just literally wrote an outline and i didn't really even know i was just like okay we're going to my friend's house and she's got a camera and I'm just basically going to walk around the house and we're going to make a fake cribs episode. And then I don't know, somewhere along the line, something just happened where I started. Um, I started this thing about the cleaner. And by the end, we had this twist that actually it wasn't her house. She was a cleaner and I, it wasn't planned. It's was just like a weird thing that happened. And the whole episode turned out really, really nicely. And you can actually watch um, the pilot episode um and we made that about i think it was maybe three years ago now i want to say like 2021 it was after lockdown when nothing was really happening um and yeah edited it in a day and then just loved it it was just so much fun i don't really get cast in comedy i've never really had the opportunity to do comedy so it was really fun getting to do that and then episode two came really soon after and I called in my friend Sammy Atala, who is one of the funniest people I know. <laughs> and I thought, you know what, he's going to be great um, with Chrissy and let's bring her a manager who is equally ridiculous and useless. Um, and yeah, again, we didn't really have a script. We were like Chrissy meets manager and then they do a sports photo shoot and that came because i am just so unfit and bad at sports and everyone who knows me will know how genuine that is um and then we just went and played around the olympic park but i'm telling you for that ep episode yeah we shot it three years ago and um the rock climbing scene <sighs> I can't even watch it because I genuinely chipped my tooth. Um, I was being a bit of a silly girl and <laughs> pretending to climb up the rock climbing wall and then pretended to fall, but I ducked and I ducked with my teeth onto one of the hand grip things. And it, I can't remember which tooth it is. I think how you that one, but yeah, half of it's fake. Thank you, Yeva, for going half on me and paying for my tooth the next day. So that's what that one cost um and we actually shot yeah that was maybe that was also shot i think in 2001 and then we did another episode i think a few months later and i had this idea that we just like shoot a load of episodes so then we can chat them out quickly didn't happen um shot the first one i started editing it and then somehow i lost it i think it's because the file took too much memory on my laptop so I accidentally deleted it and then I got fed up and then I didn't touch it 
Um, and then I've called in um, an amazing editor called Hannah and she did it actually about a year and a half, a year ago. And there was just tweaks and it's just taken me this long because by the time I said I was pregnant and I was like, yeah, I can carry on working. But I was like, literally can't be bothered to do anything. So um, and then during that time, um, the last three years, I've been lucky. I've done three feature films, which I've written, produced and filmed. Um, so that's taken up a lot of time. But Chrissy's always there and... Um, it's really something that I'd like to come back to. Uh, there's so much, there's so much growth in this episode. How I see it, what well, in this series, how I see it is, every episode is her trying something new. So, writing, fashion, being a singer, being a dancer, um, being an estate agent, just whatever cryptocurrency. She had no idea what that means. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of scope for new episodes and. I just really hope that you enjoy watching the ridiculousness. And I know a lot of people don't always get it when they start to watch it. They're like, oh my God, what is this crap? But just bear with it. Um, and yeah, comedy is not for everyone. Um, pe different people like different things, but I laugh my head at. <laughs> I literally laugh my head off, especially at my friends and how wonderful they are and how they just play along. Um, and yeah, looking forward to bringing on more creatives and just continuing with the series and I have to say out of all my work this one gets the best response I get asked a lot for more episodes so yeah I guess we're back enjoy <laughs>